Hey, I'm here at the Bankoff Center for Sustainability. And this is probably my favorite spot here right now because it's hot and the sun is shining. It's an arbor and see there's a grape leaves behind me. It's in the shade. And so when I get here, that's where I usually put all my purse, my water, my coffee. I have to come with coffee, right? And hey, if you want to donate a coffee maker, <laughs> go right ahead because we always need coffee when we're out here. And then you can have some too. Mm, that would be good. So I'm waiting for Michelle and Michelle is going to come and measure this whole place out. And on the 8th, we are going to have a design show. So I thought I'm going to start showing you the place whenever I'm down here. And you get some ideas you can already bring with you. And you know, you're welcome to come down and check it out. Um, we are not always here and the garden area is fenced, but there's a playground open to the public at all times. There's a walking path, there's the beginning of a food forest. So even if you want to come down here and just take a little walk, you know, walk your dog. A lot of people come with their dogs, walking with their dog. Just make sure you bring your bag to pick up so you know what, right? So unspeakable. <laughs> and actually there is already an idea we need to do a dog poop digester. And maybe we can even create biogas, you know? So I want you to think, think, think of ideas, what we can do here, because hey, at this point, the sky is the limit. And even if it's just a dream right now, who knows, in two years, in three years, in four years, it might be a reality. So Michelle is gonna come, she's gonna measure out the site. And then on the 8th, yeah, it's the 8th, it's a Saturday. We're going to meet here at eight and bring some breakfast stuff, you know, like, um, well, there are going to be apples getting ripe, so we will have apples here and we probably have some peaches. I would think we have some tomatoes getting ripe so we can eat some out of the garden. Uh, we're definitely gonna have water, you know, stuff like that. Coffee could be that we have a big pot of coffee, but you can always bring them to share. It's fun to kind of munch together. And at 830 shop, we want to start with a class. So we can you know that gives you time to wander around look at the site get a feel for it if you didn't have a chance to come before and to really be ready with your ideas with your plan okay so now i'm going to turn this thing around and i'm going to walk around a little bit and i will do that other days as well so expect to hear from me or from benjamin or kelsey whenever we go come down here with our handy phones i mean phones are great it's just you know amazing like when i was a kid man this kind of communication was not happening so this is very cool so i'm going to turn it around and you guys get to get a feel for the place i think you're already hearing the car so we're right next to a busy road and here we go big finger and it didn't do it so i will try it again ah turned so for my little grape arbor here so you're seeing how that is see we have a roof over here so this is a very nice and shady place and there's a fence which is towards the school campus site all right there are some boxes you can see they're empty there is one big volunteer which is making it so we don't know what variety it is uh, you see there is some irrigation pop-ups in here but there's nothing really connected so at this point we're hand watering and that's for example some we could use help with so you see that apple tree I was speaking of and now we're going to the exit of my little oh grape should be ripe See, there are some ready to eat right now. Let me grab one. Mm -hmm. Delicious crunchy. Look at that big tree. But not big, not ready yet. But boy, when it is, you want to make sure you're down here. So now we're stepping out into the sunlight. So we have some random em empty boxes sitting around. We have something somebody thought would be a good thing for compost 
And what you see is a lot of dried something just sitting there. Then we have a plum tree in need of a lot of pruning. So we definitely are going to have a summer pruning class out here. We have some potted plants, which are part of the rare food course. We have another apple tree here, which is getting some nice big apples. So at this point, the food and veggies from this garden we are passing it out to the yesterday we were out here and some little kids came by and said oh can we have some peaches and they walked away with a big handful of peaches so here you kind of see their their random race pits there's some space open and then there you see the back fence that's where that garden uh, cut ends and we're looking at buildings, buildings with schools. So if you're thinking roofs and water and rain, we can think. It looks like they are slanted the other way, so they are not necessarily slanted towards the garden. But you know, also things can be worked out, right? Then we have more random baits here. There's a peach tree which is not quite ready yet. And the way it goes towards the street, so we are elevated, and then you you see how here it kind of goes down maybe a foot and a half or so. And then it keeps going down towards the street. So that's something to think about in terms of water and what we want to do here. So somebody planted bougainvillea all along there and I'm not going to share right now how I feel about bougainvillea. Uh, ooh, we're coming close to milkweed which is great for butterflies and then this is kind of what I'm looking towards. I just find artichokes so so beautiful. Artichokes flowers are just beautiful aren't they so here is celery going to seed lots to be done with that a big pile of dragon fruit there's some pile of mulch down here there's some pile of some kind of soil we don't know then this street here we have to keep clear so when you're thinking about doing stuff we can't build anything so there has to be you have to be able to go across there are sheds there's some bricks and stuff and here is Michelle with her helper and Michelle is going to be the teacher on the AIDS and she's here to get ready. And this little boy is getting so big. <laughs> so you're going to be a major helper too. Say hi, Zachary. Take the camera wave. Yeah, do camera wave. You're going to talk to a whole bunch of people in the garden club. Okay, that's it for me. I'm off because Michelle and I are going to get busy. So. Michelle on the 8th, remember.